Hi everyone, I'm Jerome and uh, today I'm bringing you my review of this watch, the Polar V800. I've been using the watch for almost two years now and uh, I can tell you it's an incredible watch. Uh, first of all, I'll tell you what I like about this watch and after all, I'll tell you uh, what I disliked or uh, what's our, uh, what are the drawbacks of this watch. Okay, so let's talk about the things I like about the watch. First of all, is how good the watch is. It's really easy to use, the GPS is really good, uh, menus are really simple to access, uh, everything is uh, really quite user friendly. So that's a big plus in my opinion. Next, let's talk about the build quality. I really like the, the build quality and uh, the look of the watch. It's a really rugged watch, while at the same time really beautiful watch. As you can see, the case is made out of uh, aluminium and uh, the front is uh, made out of glass. Uh, which is really uh, tough to uh, scratch. The band is also really comfortable. It's uh, really tough to break while at the same time being uh, really comfortable. As you can see, it uses a black and white display, which is a really good point in my opinion because it's easier to read in the direct sunlight than a color display. One of the unique features of this watch that I've really enjoyed using is a tap screen. Unlike a touch screen, you really have to hit the watch for it to register, uh, but it can be used as a lap button, which I found really useful, especially for track and field training, when each time we, we press the start line, we can just hit the watch and it registers a lap. Another feature I really like is more to do with Polar's uh, implementing new features from time to time. For example, recently they've added Cadence support uh, for running. Finally, the watch also supports Bluetooth which means you can use Bluetooth sensors and pair it with a mobile phone. This is also a drawback at the same time because it means that it doesn't support N+, which is a really widespread communication system for especially for power meters and speed and cadence sensors on the bike. So, in conclusion, this watch has been a really useful tool for myself and I highly recommend it for anyone looking for a triathlon or multi-sports watch. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss my upcoming review of the NV SES 8.9 wheels and also the Tax 